we're in the Grover Store building in uh, downtown Calgary. We're on 17th Avenue in the corner of 17th and 4th. This is what is known as the Red Mile, a big avenue that connects downtown Calgary to Stampede Park. Uh, this is the Grover Store building, 10-story building with a penthouse. Uh, this is really our first major demolition project in Calgary. It's a project that is helping us establish ourselves and establish our presence in Calgary. So we're very excited to be able to perform this project with, with our big machines and put the Prisley name out there. We have a 10-story concrete building that we're taking down. It's about 125 feet to the roof line. And there's also a 15-foot penthouse on top of that. So we're about 140. This machine is capable of reaching 170 feet. So we have lots of reach and the machine's actually almost reaching down on the building. It started with where I'm standing right now. We had a two-story portion attached to this 10-story. Uh, we've been here since about mid-January, starting with a clean demolition. Uh, Bateman followed in by the demolition of the two-story. Then after we processed, recycled all those materials, we backfilled this whole site in preparation to get the high reaches in place to tackle this 10-story. With the 1600, which is the highest high reach uh, machine in Canada, uh, we're able to offer a new solution to our clients on how to perform demolition. Nothing like this has ever been done in Calgary. So it just shows what Grizzly can bring to the table, offering new solutions to bring the building down safely. For this job, we brought the 1600, not only for the vertical reach that it has, but also the fact that the machine, when you're working on the building, you sit so far back, so you have a good line of sight. And this building is tall, but it's also very tight down here in Calgary. We're right in the city. We have a road on two sides and a little restaurant on the third side, 10 feet away. So the further back from the building you sit, the more control you have. You can work the building from the top down a little bit easier because you're, you're able to see further into the structure. And you also have more control of what you're doing. You can reach on top of beams to chew them out, get some of the weight off before you're folding stuff in. So. This machine's very unique. There's only about five or six of them that were ever produced. It's the largest high reach in Canada. It has about 50 ton of counterweight. The tracks are removable for transport. They weigh about 33,000 pounds each. The boom is all modular. So when I say modular, I mean it's sectional. You can remove sections to configure it in different setups. So right now we have it in maximum reach setup. It's a little different to operate because it has four stick sections rather than a typical high reach which only has three. You have your main boom, your mid stick, and then your stick. But this one, you have your main boom, your mid stick, your stick, and then we have an additional sort of stinger, we call it, or fourth stick that you add on to gain extra reach. What makes Princely stand out for a project this size is not only do we have a fleet of equipment that can tackle it and handle it, but our in-house engineering team. That, that's what makes us stand out. We're able to get on the phone with our engineers and say, we've identified a problem, come take a look, and they work with us, come up with a revised plan, make, make alterations so that when we go through with the demolition, we're doing it safely and efficiently. That's the most important for the client. Having all of that in-house makes us efficient. One of the challenges we have with this project was the, they don't have records of the building, the structural design or something like that, and we just have to do a scanning of the slab and the columns and try to find out what is the structural components of the building. And also we do a structural assessment of the complete building. Based on that assessment, we design the demolition plan for the building. So one of the biggest challenges that we have in this project is obviously the location. This is a high traffic area, it's a high corridor from downtown Calgary. So keeping the people safe was a big priority, so we came up with a solution with hoarding with over, overhead protection. For protection while we're doing, de doing demolition, we have a full chain link protection screen followed with a columnar grade in, in behind just to get that finer material as the bigger pieces hit the chain link the economy grade grabs the, grabs the smaller stuff from going off site. 100 ton grain holding up our 127 foot screen and we got a 65 ton grain holding our 80 foot screen. This building also has a challenge that has asbestos abatement to do. Then we have to perform that before at the beginning of the project and now we are in the process of the demo. PDI is good in that. We PDI like the challenge project that we have to innovate new things. With the, the structure, 
We had to remove the uh, precast first before we can uh, start with the structure. Uh, with that removed, it allows us to uh, start top down, gaining line of sight, maybe a floor or two below. With the precast around this building, we had started the demolition itself, seeing some challenges and being able to control the precast with the high reaches. Uh, we decided to move forward and strip the entire precast with the cranes and lift them all off safely. Other challenges, uh, we have a basement. We have a full basement and that's 1,600. She weighs 200 ton. So as we progress into the building, we need to make sure that what we're backfilling with, the concrete that we've crumbed out of the building, it's packed in solid, that there's no voids, no cavities, because we want to be able to have good ground to sit on. Yeah, so we started this project back in March and we started with the, with the abatement and after the abatement took a couple of months to complete. After that, we moved into the structural demolition of the 10 story, where we're taking about two bays per day. On this structure, we'll start around the eighth floor, chew in, get a line of sight, work up the ninth, the 10th, the roof. And as we chew out, crumb out each bay at a time, uh, that allows us to just progress further into the building. So we're using a, uh, it's an Okada processor, which weighs about 6,000 pounds. So we use that at maximum reach, and then once we take off that fourth stick, the Stinger, we will be putting on a Atlas Copco CC6000, which weighs around 15,000 pounds, and that'll be at about 140 feet. After all the demo, we just recycle everything, uh, the concrete, the rebar, all the uh, debris that go to our recycle companies. We have our smaller machines that will break up all the concrete, sort the rebar of the pipe and then we ship it all separate uh, off to the scrap yards and then the concrete as it's all cleaned gets then sent to, to a recycler as well and it all gets put back to use. In this project we're working with Alice Don. Alice Don is a great partner to Prince of Demolition not only in the East Coast but also here in Calgary now we have multiple projects with Alice Don. So a project like this that has high visibility, they chose a partner like Prisley because they know we're, we're efficient, we're safe, and we produce a good product. Building this size in a machine with that much power, we have to be delicate. And that is kind of where the pride comes in to, as an operator to be able to hone your skills and make it look easy to the people on the street. I like to work with PC demolition because uh, the challenge we have, when you have problems, you don't have problems, you have challenges. And for my career, that is the way I see things. This is a challenge, we need to find the solution. And after uh, you finish and get a, a project finished, it's a very good satisfaction. One of the reasons why I enjoy working for Priestley is the fact that it's a family-run, family-owned company. They always recognize you as an employee, not just a number. That is what I really enjoy. Now, work-wise, I've enjoyed staying with Priestley because of the challenge. We are a very large demolition company here in Canada, and therefore we tackle some very large projects, which I enjoy the challenge. I, I don't want to be stuck doing small things every day of my life. I want to be challenged, I want to be pushed, and that is where the growth is. They observe you, they watch you, they know what you're capable of, and they want to give you that opportunity. The thing I enjoy most about being a high-reach operator is the variety of work that you get into. No building is the same as the next one. Every job's a little bit different, the way a building comes apart. It's difficult work, which I like. Sometimes it's a bit of an adrenaline rush, you know, you, you're, you're always uh, on your toes, and you gotta be very focused. The nice thing about demolition work is also that you work year round, you know, like today's a rainy day, we're in the mud, but a rainy day for demolition is the best thing. You don't have the sun in your eyes when you're looking up and the rain helps with the dust controls. It's nice being in a machine and taking down a big building and at the end of the job you see it gone and other people may not know it was ever there, but you know what, what got done and the work that was involved with it and it's very rewarding work. We almost call it like it's a, it's a spectator job because there's always people lined up on the sidewalk watching these big machines work and watching buildings come down. So 